Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Django 3, which is alpha release. And this was announced on September the 10th. You can see it here under latest news. If you go on this page here, you can get more information on it. So if you want to know what are the things that are being included or are included in Django 3, you can read this here, the release note, and you can see it here. So this has a lot of new things. You can go ahead and check what it includes, what it deprecates. All right, so let's quickly go ahead and install Django 3 on Windows 10. So I'm going to launch my terminal here. Sorry, it's command prompt. And let me quickly increase the font size so you can see it clearly. Now, I already have my Python installed. I'm running Python 3.7.4. If you haven't, go ahead and watch my video on how to install Python 3, the latest version. I will leave the link in the description and if you already have installed Python and you are happy with it this is how you can check it so Python space hyphen uppercase V and this gives you the version of Python I already have installed a lot of packages few packages that are required to create virtual environment on a separated Python development environment on Windows and the pip as well so you can see you've got pip 19.2.3 setup tools 14.8.0 virtual env virtual env wrapper for windows in case if you don't know how to install any of these so simply what do you do after installing python you simply say pip installed and the name of the package so in this case let's say virtual env wrapper win so you type the name of the particular package and then hit enter in case if you need a guide on how to install these virtual env virtual env wrapper and then django go ahead and watch my other video how to install django on windows 10 i will leave the link in the description so let's get to the business we will go ahead and create this uh, virtual environment on the desktop and then i'm going to install django so i'm going to change the directory to desktop i'm going to create a may uh, directory on the desktop so i'm going to say pi en sorry env hit enter change the directory pi env and clear the screen here we are going to create a um, virtual environment so you simply say make virtual env and the name of the environment so virtually env make virtually env mk and the env1 so this is going to create a uh, environment on the system okay and this may take some time once it's done i'll be right back alrighty so you can see virtually in env like environment the python environment has been created and this has been activated as well so in case on your system if it does not activate on itself so what do you do on windows you say work on and then the name of the virtual environment so env1 and this will change the directory and the directory will be here before this c column thing thing okay in case if you want to remove the virtual any, any virtual environment so you simply say rm virtual env sorry spelling mistake and the name of the virtual environment so in case i have a, if i want to remove this env thing here env1 i will type rm virtual env and the name of the virtual environment now we will quickly go ahead and install django 3 so you simply type pip install and give this flag pre and then say django so this is going to install the alpha release at any point of time okay so for now it's alpha 3 uh, sorry django 3 alpha 1 hit enter 
and this is going to collect and install all the packages that are required for Django on the system so you can see this is installing Django 3.0 alpha 1 and this is going to take a minute or two maximum once it's installed I'll be right back okay thank you for your patience you can see it says successfully installed Django 3 and other packages so we can go ahead and check it pip list and this is going to list all the packages that were installed within this environment so let's quickly go ahead and create a python project so you simply say django admin start project and then the name of the project so i'm going to say demo one and let's quickly change the directory so demo one hit enter and if i say pi manage dot Pi run server one word this is going to run the server and we can go ahead and launch and check it on this localhost 8000 and here we are okay so this is working everything is cool now let's quickly go ahead and configure our very first and minimal template so we are going to work on Django URL views and templates okay so I'm going to open that particular demo one thing here and that is on the oh, oh, on the desktop I guess here we go and that's under pi e and b must be here at the very bottom here we are and then here we are so what I'm going to do I'm going to quickly create an application so uh, start app and the name of that is going to be blog pages whatever you want to say it and that has been created so I'll go very fast over it so and go under demo one whatever the name of the project you've given and then we are going to add this to our app so how you do it it's very simple you simply say blog dot app so you're going under this thing here blog and then apps page here and here we have block config so you copy it or you can just uh, type it yourself and then that's done we are going to create uh, nothing we're going to go to blog views and create a view so what we are going to basically do here uh, this is going to be a uh, index view and uh, we are going to use a render so I'll go ahead and create um, what is it? Uh, render and then request we are going to create a template directory in the root folder and then create um, index.html okay so that's it that's the view thing here then we will go ahead and create uh, urls.py urls.py and here we need to go ahead and copy this thing paste it over here same thing so so that we do not do any typo errors and then this is going to be like empty So what's happening here we need to import the views index here so you simply say we're going to import the view the whole view okay so from main directory the same directory import views and URL patterns is going to be like this so views dot index index and then you can also give it a name if you wish to but that is completely optional only if it required okay so that seems to be fine so far now we need to go ahead and import this view sorry url start pi in here so 
we are going to include it so we'll simply say include and you can see it here add a URL to URL patterns and that's all you need so go ahead and paste it over here and if I go ahead and run the server it should run without any issue I guess so okay so we need to quickly create this template now so go to this main root and then say templates under templates we're going to create index if you remember that's the name of the view and I can simply say nothing very simple stuff here hello world lorem 10 and then p lorem 200 seems to be fine I can go ahead and copy paste few few times here okay so now what we need to do we need to go to blogs oh no we need to go to this um, demo and then go to settings and then we need to copy this thing here we are going to give path to this templates directory so go under templates here it is and under dirs just paste this and change this to the folder name which is templates and uh, that's it okay and still running so that's kind of this is how Django works okay so we need to change this to home directory okay so very basic thing go to um, this URL say and if you want to keep it on it it is working so it is working just we need to go to blocks and it's already there so if you want to keep it on this home page like on 8000 you simply have to change that and everything remains the same so this is how you install Django 3 on Windows 10 which is kind of an alpha release and this is how you can test it on uh, like test it on Windows 10 or test the Django 3 and try it yourself so thank you so much for watching this video please leave your comment if you have any question I was kind of very fast and if you have any question suggestion please leave in the comment area thank you so much again and have a good day bye for now